This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Eric Morton of WDWNT.com, and here now are the top Disney Park stories from around the world for August 15th, 2022. It's a wonderful day in the 100-acre wood as the Winnie the Pooh and Tigger meet and greet has returned to the Magic Kingdom. The sign outside, a place for friends to meet, let us know that Pooh and Tigger would be available for visits from 11 a.m. to 2.15 p.m., so we hopped in line. Guests began to queue even before the characters arrived, and Disney Photo, Photo Pass cast members were on hand to take photos for guests. Hugs between guests and characters are still back, and the guests couldn't have been happier. Looks like Pooh is giving some thought as to when his next meal is going to be. Not a bad idea at all, Pooh. I feel you there. A new Haunted Mansion Dooney and Burke collection was released earlier this week at Uptown Jewelers in the Magic Kingdom. The collection, featuring three different styles, is also available on Shop Disney. Each bag in the collection has the same pattern in signature Dooney and Burke coated cotton. You can spot Madame Leota, Hitchhiking Ghost, The Bride, and more iconic characters. Let's start with the tote. The tote features a front zipper pocket and two tall black straps to carry the bag. The print wraps around each side and the bottom with a black leather trim. The magnetic closure on the tote rests on a black leather piece in the center. It sells for $268. The satchel bag has black handles on top and an optional crossbody strap located inside the bag. The satchel is dome-shaped and the handles stay upright. It should be noted that all of these bags feature gold hardware and a light cream interior, but the price tags, well, they're all different. The satchel, $298. You can spy even more happy haunts with the matching wristlet. Dark reds, purples, mauves, light purple, blue, and white appear just as they do in each bag. You can store items with multiple pockets and a zipper compartment inside the wristlet. The wristlet is $158. Well, it's August. You know what that means. It's Halloween here at Walt Disney World. And as part of the entertainment for Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party, you can find some live pirates waiting for you when you visit Pirates of the Caribbean. In the queue for the ride, pirates are found in different areas and interact with guests. In some places, the pirates are even using microphones while they banter with each other and with the guests as they move through the queue. You can even find pirates interacting with guests in boats as they pass through the ride itself. That's right, there are pirates in the attraction. What a nice touch. Hopefully you can catch them if you attend Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. Some of our staff rode Pirates of the Caribbean four times on Friday, and there were only live pirates present twice. But you know, even pirates need a break sometimes. News today is brought to you by the Sunshine Flyer, the new 1920s rail-themed transportation from Orlando International Airports to Walt Disney World Resorts. Start your vacation experience as soon as you step off the plane with motor coaches that create the atmosphere of old-fashioned passenger cars. No two vehicle designs are the same, and just in time for summer, kids ride free. If you book your trip now through Labor Day, you can enjoy free tickets for kids and reduce pricing for adults. Tickets do not need to be used during the time frame. To reserve, visit sunshineflyer.com. The cadaver dance are back from the Undead from Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. Uh, we caught Cadaver Dan serenading the crowd from above the Country Bears building. The quartet returns to the Magic Kingdom. They kicked off with Let Me Wahoo, followed by Tumbling Tumbleweeds, Ghost Riders in the Sky, Boo to You, Grim Grinning Ghosts, and wrap the show up with Happy Trails. While they sing characters from Country Bear Jamboree, and well, they came out to greet guests in the parade path below. You can check out a full video of their Knock 'em Dead performance right here on our YouTube channel. Also, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, uh, as there have been many new treats, lots of new merchandise and experiences for us, there's also that Boo to You parade. Certain notable characters have been removed from Mickey's Boo to You Halloween parade, though. Bear Fox and Bear Bear did not join the Country Bears in the Frontierland portion of the parade down Main Street. You can see the video here on our channel from back in 2019 when they did participate. Though Splash Mountain is still open with the Brer characters, Disney announced a rethink of Splash Mountain to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. That's supposed to be completed by the end of 2024. So we may have seen the last of Brer Fox and Brer Bear live characters at the Magic Kingdom. Earlier, we got a first look at the 50th anniversary commemorative lithograph that would be given away during Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party and at the first party on Friday night, 
Well, we were lucky enough to snag one ourselves. The lithograph features Cinderella Castle with its 50th anniversary decorations. Some adorable ghosts float around the castle and pumpkin wreaths adorn two lampposts. Walt Disney World 50 is at the bottom and a full moon with Mickey's not so scary Halloween party logo is at the top. The silhouettes of Mickey, Minnie and Pluto are at the castle entrance holding trick or treat bags. Wake up from your siesta to check out these new Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room ears at the Magic Kingdom. These whimsical ears feature different icons from Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room with singing flowers, tiki gods, parrots, and the Tiki Room facade. On top of the ears, you can find a small straw hat with Jose sitting inside. The back of these ears shows the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary logo. The headband has the Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room logo. We found these at the Emporium at the Magic Kingdom for $34.99. We did not find the rest of the collection. These collections have been kind of trickling in one piece at a time, but we will keep our eyes peeled for you. We recently got a first look at the Epcot 40th anniversary celebration logo and some of the merchandise. For the one family pin celebration at Epcot, guests were able to get an up close look at the new logo for the Epcot 40th anniversary. Disney Pins Blog shared a look at the collection. Each World Showcase Pavilion has its own pin with a Disney character to match. There was also a pin display banner with a special Epcot 40 logo pin. We also found some previews of the new 40th anniversary Epcot posters on uh, the Instagram story from Rachel Goes to Disney. Similar to the ones seen at the former Epcot experience, these posters should be available for purchase later this year. We visited Disney's Boardwalk Resort early this morning for the grand opening of the new Boardwalk Deli, which has replaced the bakery. We tried some of the new breakfast sandwiches and baked goods. We arrived bright and early to catch the ribbon cutting ceremony. Some elements from the former Boardwalk Bakery remain. Some have been altered to swap bakery for deli, and a few signs are completely different. We covered some of this on a previous show, but we hadn't yet been inside. Uh, the interior has been painted a blush pink instead of the deep red that the bakery was, and the menu boards have been replaced with screens. Otherwise, the interior is pretty much the same. A selection of bottled beverages avail is available, including milk, chocolate milk, a variety of juices, Coca-Cola products, Powerade, and water. There are also fountain drinks and coffees over there to the side. There is a large pastry display full of baked goods, and then we ordered the breakfast dishes, including the Everything Bagel Sandwich for $8.99, a plant-based ciabatta breakfast sandwich for $7.49, Mickey Cinnamon Roll for $6.79, an almond croissant for $4.29, New Jersey Crumb Cake for $3.99, New York Half Moon Cookie for $3.79, and then two prepackaged cocktails, the Social Hour Prize Fighter and the Social Hour Sunkissed Fizz, both for $11. The drinks are also both over 11% alcohol. No judgment, just giving you that note if you're one of those people that wants to get your day started early. Walt Disney World announced today that all lines of the Disney Skyliner will be closing for refurbishment from January 22nd through 29th, 2023. Bus transportation will be available between all resorts and theme parks during that time. January is typically a time for routine refurbishment on the Skyliner, or it has been so far, but usually some of the lines remain open. In 2023, there will be no Skyliner service available at all during those dates. Disney Cruise Line has just announced changes to the vaccination requirements for passengers. Uh, we have a little bit of the official update. First of all, for sailings departing U.S. and Canadian ports through September 1st of this year, Disney Crew Line requires guests ages 5 and older to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 at the time of sailing, as defined by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, uh, CDC. But beginning September 2nd, for sailings departed U.S. and Canada, uh, Disney Cruise Line will require guests ages 12 and older to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 at the time of sailing. Uh, again, as defined by the CDC, Disney Cruise Line highly recommends that uh, guests ages 11 and younger be fully vaccinated before sailing, though. Fully vaccinated guests on sailings departed U.S. and Canadian ports must provide proof of a negative COVID-19 test as well. That needs to be paid for by the guest and needs to be taken one to two days before setting sail to be exempt from embarkation testing at the terminal. Completing pre-trip testing prior to embarkation day enhances the efficiency of boarding and confirms that you are negative for COVID-19 prior to traveling to the terminal. 
Pre-trip test results must be uploaded into the Inspire Diagnostics Safe Passage website by midnight prior to embarkation day. Uh, those guests are doing back-to-back -back sailings, and right now there are a lot of them because a lot of people are going on the wish twice in a row. Well, all guests on consecutive back-to-back -back sailings, regardless of age and vaccination status, will be required to complete a COVID-19 test in between sailings paid for by Disney Cruise Line this time. Uh, for more complete instructions and requirements, please visit the Disney Cruise Line website. We have a long article with a lot of this information that was copied from that website, but it's important if you're going on this cruise to go ahead and educate yourself uh, with all of the requirements. It, 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 there's a lot of information to look at. If you've ever wanted to match with a Marvel superhero, well, here is your chance. In promotion for the new Disney Plus series, She-Hulk, now has a Tinder profile. <laughs> Twitter user at Jozopath shared screenshots of the profile and message received after a match. She-Hulk's profile reads, I know what you're thinking, this can't be real, and guess what, it's not. But suspend your disbelief for one second and pretend you just matched with She-Hulk. Excited? Find out who she does match with in She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, streaming uh, August 18th on Disney Plus. Seriously, she goes out on dates. The message reads, I knew we'd match. There's plenty to love in She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Lawyers, Hulks, cameos, dating, happy hours, yoga, magic, fashion. The list goes on. Now stop reading this. Message your match below and set up a date to watch She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, August 18th on Disney Plus. Wow, that's pretty wild. <laughs> For the absolute latest Disney Parks news, head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on your favorite social media platforms. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, the Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next magical Disney trip. The best part is that their services are free. Visit WDWNT.travel for details. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more content, click the bell for notifications, and be sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of News Today with WDW News Today. You can also support the entire team behind this show by joining the WDWNT Inner Globe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. For the worldwide, worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Eric Morton saying, enjoy the rest of your today and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Welcome to Deep in the Plus. Each week, join host Rob Whiteside as he and a panel of Disney superfans take a different movie or TV show from the Disney Plus catalog. They'll tell you its history, details, and give their review so you'll know if it's worth your time. Current shows, classic movies, and everything in between. Watch Deep in the Plus live Wednesday nights at 9 Eastern for new episodes. Or catch Deep in the Plus anytime on YouTube on WDWNT-TV.